Yo, what is happening, everybody? It's your homeboy Sinister here, and then, yeah, sorry for you know being you know haven't been around lately because you know I've been under the weather lately. That's why you know you haven't seen many videos about me. And I mean, yeah, I may throw up a gameplay video or two, and things like that, just to you know just didn't want to show up on camera, you know, you know looking messed up or like or looking worse like The Walking Dead, which I could you know I'll get to later. As for you get a salt in the thumbnail, I have a little mystery package in the mail, but you know, I'd like to give a shout out to my homeboy, and like somebody I work with over the years and community friends over here. And uh basically, you know, this game pick he got me Titanfall two. I really appreciate him for it. I've been wanting to play this for a while because uh because you know, I've seen my homeboy uh Jay Donless, I mean I've been seeing his uh streams on it, so and so basically, yeah, I blame you, <laughs> Jay Dallas, but I'll leave a link to his page below. You know, show him some love, you know, check his streams out. Really cool. You know, he keeps it real, especially when he, you know, what gaming news and what, what else is going on. Um, so, yeah, but what else has been going on? But, I mean, I still keep my ears to the YouTube street, you know, what's going on in the, in the gaming community and everything else. So, you know, I picked up some news along the way. I thought I'd, you know, get my thoughts about it. Uh, first off, I want to talk about is uh, Resident Evil 7. I mean, I've still wanting to play it, you know. I mean, hope I will someday. But as far as I looked at the sales of it, it's like it's it's falling short of of its predecessors, especially with five and six. Because I mean, right now, you know, Capcom's they won't expect you know trying to hit that four million mark, you know, just like its predecessor. I mean, I know. Don't get me wrong. I love Resident Evil 5. Didn't like 6. Uh, I wasn't feeling 6 at all, but somehow it it, it, it outsold you know, Part 5 just by, just by half. But anyways, um, right now, like, Resident Evil 7 sounds like it's selling right at, I think it's around the 3 million mark. <laughs> you know, so far and things like that. I mean, which is not bad, but, you know, but being a reboot franchise, but you know, because Capcom's hoping, trying to hit the four million mark, you know, by the end of uh, March in the next month. So, I don't know, we shall see how it does and everything. But like I said, it looks fantastic and stuff. Like I know, I talked to some people. You know, you know, they have like their pros and cons about it. Like one of the few niggas I've I've heard from, you know, from those who played it is like it was the first person and like it and all that stuff. But you know, but majority is. I heard everything else is positive, you know, it was like, I say yes, it's back as Resident Evil, you know, just like Resident Evil 1, back to its survival roots, you know, you know, none of this Rambo, you know, action hardcore stuff, like, you know, like, like they saw in 5, you know, like, you know, straight up survival, like, like, you know, something that make you jump and scream and stuff like that, especially, you know, you're playing this game late at night and things like that. <laughs> um... Another topic I want to talk about is uh, Activision. Um, yeah, because uh, on the podcast I was part of uh, the other day, it was talking about the layoffs over at Activision and things like that. And those who, who were affected the, were affected the most was Infinity Ward and Beanox. Yeah, because you know Infinity Ward, you know, they're the ones that started the Call of Duty series, you know. You know, ever since you know, like Call of Duty 2 up, in, up until now, you know, with well, when I say Call of Duty 2, the one when on the 360 was, like I said, major hit and all that stuff. But lately, you know, they got hit with a layoff bug because you know, basically it was when Infinite Warfare, yeah, last year it sold for another because, you know, you get that Modern Warfare, you know, remastered with it. However, they still got hit with the layoffs. It's like the, you know, cut costs and money because, I mean, think about it, it's been going down because, like, the quality of the Call of Duty series, just, it keeps going down every year like I said because if in a warfare didn't sell as much as uh black ops did black ops 3 and things like that however uh at the visions other other half blizzard they're doing phenomenal because I mean they're doing great with overwatch which was <laughs> their game of the year and of course with wow you know, world of war <laughs> or warcraft you can't go wrong with those two so those two blizzard and nothing to worry about they're flourishing that division, it just keeps going down, <laughs> you know, stuff like that, like their quality, because, 
my my thoughts about it is like they're just doing too much. I mean, because the way the quality and the direction that they're going with the uh, franchise is like people have been wanting to go back boots to the ground, and then seeing that's this, but right now all you get is all this futuristic Halo jump and stuff like that jumping around. It's, and uh, like I said, like not many people were feeling it because think about it, ever since Infant Warfare, even before it came out, it had the most, so many dislikes, like like, <laughs> like a billion dislikes and stuff like that. But anyways, just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I played it just to try it out, see how it is. So I, just, I just wasn't feeling the Infinite Warfare, but I do love the remaster, don't get me wrong on that. But still, like, many of us just wanted that, that game separate. It's like, you know, what well, he's like, screw with Infinite Warfare, we just want the remaster. And, but Activision said, no, they were playing the hardball, so no, because if we ship that separately, no one's going to buy Infinite Warfare. So, you know, they were thinking, it was like, hey, we got to give people's money anyway. So basically, yeah, if you want to play the remaster, you know, you got to buy the game. And yeah, you got to play it off. You got to have the disc in there just to play it. You know, you can't play it by itself. And things like that. So. I mean, at the vision, I mean, do you have any other IPs outside of Call of Duty? Because pretty much, yeah, you did other games, but, you know, you know, it's like licensed games, like you did with Transformers Devastation, which I like. And, of course, you did uh, the Ninja Turtles, uh, you know, Manhattan, like that other uh, latest Turtle game. It didn't do so hot. I know Platinum Studios, like, did the engine, but still, it was just, it was not selling. But, you know, because think about it. At division, you know, you better start coming up with some new IPs and stuff outside of Call of Duty because, because you know, because it's it's getting it's not looking great for y'all. Because think about it, Blizzard, like I said, they're over there chilling. It's like I said with Overwatch, with WoW, and plus like their major esports and things like that. And so basically, yeah, laying off, you know, laying off their workforce is like I said, they're trying to save money and think long term. So. I mean, just like, I mean, just the way the business world is. Yeah, you know, uh, that's I mentioned earlier about Walking Dead, but if you those who didn't watch, like, you know, the season premiere, like, from this past Sunday, uh, turn away, because, you know, cause, you know, I don't want to spoil anything for you all until you watch it, but anyways, for those who did watch it, I mean, what did you think of it? It's like, you know, especially, you know, the scene with, you know, what Rick and Michonne did, you know, on that that one scene, that certain scene, which I'm not gonna reveal much. And uh, basically, yesterday, you know, I was going around like you know, just watching you know SmackDown while I was you know after I got off work, you know, because got home late and everything. But I uh, pretty much like the direction it's going. You know, it's cool seeing you know Ray Wyatt as champ and things like that. Of course, his slave uh, Randy Orton is like, you know, like, no, I'm not gonna you know. I'm not gonna fight you, and blah blah blah. I'm just gonna continue to be your slave. <laughs> he just said to just, just bow down to him and things like that. But you know, seeing that Luke Harker, you know, finally broke away from the cult. <laughs> He's, you know, I guess he had enough drinking the Kool Aid, so he just turned on his master, his former master. <laughs> but that was a great triple threat match, you know. Glad didn't, glad Cena didn't win, didn't want him win number seventeen and stuff like that. You know, but like I said, I would just. I was going either for AJ and Bray just to win. I just didn't want Cena to win. And case in point, um, thing like that. I was cool seeing Mickey James back and this robbery between her and uh, Becky Lynch going at it. It's like, you know, it's seeing like the whole it's like the whole generation versus gen old generation versus new generation thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I kind you know I kind of you know, like you know seeing Mickey as a heel stuff like that. So. It's a good take on our character. Also, with uh, Dolph Ziggler, of course, he's another guy. But I like him better as a heel anyway. It's all the same thing like with uh, Mickey and Becky. You know, the whole generation versus generation thing. So, it's just really cool. But, you know, seeing him, what he did to uh, Kalisto and, Ter and Apollo Crews. Things like that. Um, the only downside I just didn't like is this whole feud with uh, Nikki Bella and Natalia. It's like, I was like, eh. I, like I said, I don't care much for the Bellas anyway, so that's just my give and take on it. So, you know, so pretty much uh, that's all I have. It's like, this is just the latest that's been going on, so I'm trying to play catch up and everything. So, 
Anyways, uh, you know, just check, you know, check my channel, hit that subscribe, like, comment, and everything. But, uh, this is Sinister, and I'm out.